Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I am showing you some super simple Dollar Tree Disney decor. Hi guys, what's up? If you're new, my name is Brittany. In today's video, I am doing something brand new that I've really never done on this channel. I am going to be showing you some really fun, easy Disney DIY decor. I have done a couple things, but I really, really love being crafty. And especially if I can incorporate Disney in that, it's like the best of both worlds. So I decided I wanted to go to Dollar Tree, kind of see what they had there and what I could kind of come up with in order to make some really cool Disney decor. So without further ado, let's hop on into it and let me know what you guys think. We are starting out with this beautiful rose inspired by Beauty and the Beast. And this is beyond simple, you guys. It's not even really a DIY at all. So Dollar Tree had a lot of these really cool little like wooden light up signs, I guess. And I wanted the rose one because I was very much inspired by Beauty and the Beast. Starting out with, I literally just used my Applegate red paint and literally just painted. That's literally all I did. So it's really cool these little lights turn on and they turn off, obviously. And the little lights actually pop out, which I do recommend taking them out before you paint it, unless you, of course you want it painted, but even still, I probably would just take it out and paint it. I just would hate for paint to drip in it and then it get ruined for some reason. So I took mine out, that was my preference. And then I literally just painted, <laughs> not, really much um, creativity I guess behind this but I just thought it was so beautiful and I imagined it all lit up red and looking just so nice next to my little Beauty and the Beast collection that I have and it did not disappoint and keep in mind like I don't know I've just been really inspired by Dollar Tree hauls especially during the quarantine where I've been really open like I really when I go into Dollar Tree I don't look at things for what they are you know, I can look at um, a garbage can maybe and be like, okay, this isn't just a garbage can. What can I turn it into? And I've just been super inspired by a lot of other people on YouTube and doing similar things like that. So, you know, keep in mind, there's lots of different things that you can, you can do. The other thing that comes to mind with the rose is you can totally do an Alice one. I almost immediately was like, man, I wish I would have done that instead where you could paint it white and have like red dripping off of it or something like that. Or even just paint it a solid color. It could be for, you know, the golden afternoon scene. There's just many different options. Dollar Tree is seriously fantastic. And let that dry for like 30 minutes or so. And then you can just pop the light right back in the same way you took it out. And voila, you are done. You have a beautiful enchanted rose. If you want to add some glitter to it, you can. I just kind of left it how it was. But you can definitely get creative, paint it whatever color you want. I just think it looks so cute with all my little Beauty and the Beast stuff. And again, you can make this Alice in Wonderland. I'm sure there's more movies I'm just like not thinking of right now. But I love it all. I think it's such a fun idea. Alright guys, next is this amazing, fun little piece from the Aristocats. It's supposed to be the portrait that I think it's Toulouse that paints of Edgar. This is so simple. All you're going to need and everything you can totally get at the dollar store. You just need this little easel. And then Match Podge, which you can also get at the dollar store. Some scissors, a paintbrush, and which I didn't show you, but you need a paintbrush. And this picture of Edgar. So you can pick anyone that you want, obviously. I found one that I felt like it was a little bit easier to manipulate and um, change the sizes on Word. So I measured the easel, which again, you can get that technically anywhere. Just make sure you measure it. And then I went on Microsoft Word and changed the sizing of the picture so it would fit right. And then I just trimmed out the picture and tried to measure it out. I wanted my picture a little bit longer than the actual easel because I wanted it to really look like a canvas was like laying against the easel. So I just measured it out, made sure I had the height that I wanted and I added some match match to the bottom. And once that was fairly dry, I also added it right on top. It's beyond simple. The only thing with Mod Podge with me that I always struggle with is putting the right amount because either you don't put enough 
and then it starts peeling up or you put too much and it gets super saggy. If it happens where it gets super saggy, just leave it, let it dry and don't apply any on top until it's fully dry underneath. And again, you don't have to do Aristocats for this. This is a really cute way to display any kind of Disney art. So if you wanted to find some pretty Thomas Kincaid picture, if you wanted to, I don't know, print something from the Little Mermaid that she has in her collection or whatever you wanted to do, this is a really cute way of displaying art without really displaying art. I just was totally inspired by Aristocats. I don't have many pieces from this movie and I just, immediately when I saw the easel, I was like, boom, I have to make this Aristocats. So when you apply this, you want to start out slowly. I'm using a little Disney gift card. You can use anything just kind of with a flat edge and slowly apply it and rub out any kind of air bubbles that might be coming up. And as you'll see in a minute, I end up having to take the whole thing off and redoing it because it wasn't fully even on the thing, which is okay. You just want to move very quickly because Mod Podge starts immediately getting tacky and drying on the surface. And that's really it to this picture. Like I said, you're gonna wanna make sure you let it fully dry. And then once it's dry, add a little top coat if you want. Um, you don't have to add the top coat. I just wanted to make sure it was fully secured on there. And that's it. This is the beautiful Edgar portrait. I am just seriously in love with it. I just think it looks so, so cute. And I put it next to my little Marie statue. I definitely need more Aristocats. I would love the brothers of a, in a gym shore or just any kind of figurine. I think they would look so cute next to this. But it was so simple, you guys. I'm telling you, take advantage of Google and if you have a printer. Next craft is inspired by Alice in Wonderland, which is celebrating their anniversary this month on July 26th. So to start out with, I am using obviously a plain mug. I got a Dollar Tree, some scrap paper, which I end up using to just kind of sketch up some ideas. And I'm using the Sharpie oil-based markers. You can use regular Sharpie, but they won't last as long. The oil works a lot better. Got them off of Amazon, so I will leave them in the description below. These markers you really, really want to shake up very, very well. Because they're very hard to get ink out of for some reason. So here you see me starting to sketch up a tag and you'll later see that I was like, ooh, that's not a good line. I'm gonna erase it. One thing I forgot to mention materials is you're gonna want napkins or some type, something to wipe with and either alcohol or nail polish remover. As you see here, I just wiped my design right off, dried it really well and redid it. It obviously doesn't have to be perfect and you'll see the end result isn't perfect even once it's baked. Um, it doesn't end up coming out 100% perfect, but I kind of like it because it gives it character. So I end up writing drink me on mine and I had to draw it super long. Um, if you don't have ginormous handwriting like me, then you probably don't have to draw it that big, but I drew mine massive. <laughs> and I kind of tried to follow the little image I found of the drink me bottle from Alice in Wonderland, but I also kind of gave it my own little twist on it. So again, you can be creative. If you're like a really awesome drawer, you can literally sketch anything on these mugs. They're a really great gift to give people, whether you make it Disney themed or not. There are so many options, it's literally endless of what you can do. I am kind of avoiding like the, the mouth part. I wasn't sure if I was going to use this as actual drinkware, but I decided not to. I'm just gonna put it in my cute little Disney collection of stuff that I have to dust around. <laughs> but I'm really in love with how this turned out. So here I'm just adding a little tag and I'm adding a little string and kind of wrapping it around my handle. Again, this is totally optional. Once you're finished, you're going to go put it on a cookie sheet upside down and you're going to put it in a cold oven and then preheat your oven to 400 degrees and let it sit in there and bake for 30 minutes. Once it's done, you want to turn the oven off and let it basically sit in there until it's cooled. 
and that's it. As you can see, there's their imperfection. That's where I didn't put enough layers, so you really want to make sure you layer it up pretty thick on there. But overall, I like it. I like how it has character. I like how it looks kind of old school, so I'm really, really content with it. I think it's very cute and will look so nice with all my other Disney stuff. So that's it for this video. I am really, really happy with the things that I found. All of these things I've gotten within the last month, so hopefully you can go to your Dollar Tree and you can find these items if you're wanting to recreate them. Of course, you don't have to do everything exactly the way I did it. I really have been inspired by other YouTubers and I would love to inspire other people to go to Dollar Tree and just kind of get a feel of all the things that they have to offer because there are things that you wouldn't even think of that you could use to create something and it's pretty amazing and it's a lot of fun and again, super, super affordable. If you're new and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you know every single time I post a new video. I am really, really excited about this new series and I hope you guys are too. Thanks guys so much for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!